Good morning. Today is Friday, September 8th, 2023, approximately 7 15 a.m. And it's the weekend, baby. Time for some football, some road tide. We play Texas tomorrow. I'm taking Texas in the points, but Bama going to win. It's a set, right now, it's a seven point spread. Uh, Bama giving Texas seven points, so. I think it'll be a close game, but Bama pull it out. So I'm, I'm going with Texas on the point, but Bama to win. But anyway, oh, and I'm going with the over. The over is 56, I think, 56 points. So I think, you know, it'll be a close, but a high scoring game. So I think they'll go with 56. So with that being said, I was, uh, I'm at work now, and I was listening to the Breakfast Club, right? And then a little political pundit or whatever, her name is uh, Cheslin Figaro or something like that. She get on my last nerve. She uh, was talking about President Trump when he was in office. And the fact that he made some, he, he had some policies or some, uh, had some laws passed that helped uh, black people get out of jail. Can you believe that? She actually gave Trump some credit for helping black people, you know, he's supposed to hate black people, but he actually helped nonviolent criminals be released early from prison. And she said she uh, gave him credit for that and she advocated for that and he actually did it, right? You know, the racist President Trump actually let black people out of jail. Oh, but she couldn't leave it there. So she turned around and said, but on the state level, he appointed judges that was locking black people up. So when you think he's giving you something, he actually taking something on the other end. So let me get this straight. He releasing black people, but he also appointing judges that's locking black people up. Let me say it again. The judges on the state level are locking black people up as if the black people were at work doing the right thing, working, going home, spending time with their family, going to church on Sunday, uh, volunteering at the local uh, elder, elderly home, going to sit and talk with the elderly people or whatever volunteering their time and Trump has some judges come and just grab round them black people up and lock them up, put them in jail. For nothing at all, no reason at all, Trump just had the judges, he appointed the judges that were just locking black people up, black people ain't did nothing. Innocent, at the, you know, like I said, at home, going to work, spending time with their family. And all of a sudden they find themselves locked up because the judges Trump appointed. Look, man, I, I haven't been locked up in jail since the early 90s, like 93, somewhere up in there. I haven't been in jail since. With all these so-called racist judges and cops and all this or whatever, I haven't been in jail since 1993. Well, some of, some of the ones that don't like me might say, that's called you a sellout. You a coon. So they ain't gonna lock you up. Some of y'all don't say that. I'm gonna say I ain't been to jail since 1993 because I ain't broke the law since 1993. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it's because I ain't did nothing to go to jail since 1993. When I went to jail in 1993, I was breaking the law. It wasn't no judge came to my house with the cops or whatever, knocked on my door while I'm in there bathing my kid and just took me to jail. Or anybody I know. They ain't do that to nobody I know either. I was just minding my business and some, some racist judges and cops came and locked me up. I ain't did nothing. I ain't seen it happen. So, 
those judges that Trump appointed and the black people that they were locking up, those black people did something to come before those judges. I know y'all know that right. Y'all can't be serious saying Trump appointed judges that locked black people up. Y'all leaving out some information. Y'all leaving out the part where they carjacked somebody. Y'all leaving out the part where they robbed a gas station. Y'all leaving out the part where they killed somebody in their own neighborhood. Y'all leaving that part out. Y'all just saying Trump appointed judges are locking black people up. You leaving out what they did. You missed the part of the story. Come on now, y'all, y'all, who, what's up with that? Why, why y'all doing that? Here we go again with that same old foolishness. Somebody locking black people up. Black people ain't did nothing. I'm special because I ain't been in jail since, you know, and I'm snitching. Oh, I'm uh, an Uncle Tom Coon or whatever. That's why they ain't taking me to jail. Ain't got nothing to do with I got my ass at work every day. Paying my bills. Not breaking in nobody's stuff. Not selling no illegal drugs. That ain't got nothing to do with me not going to jail. It's the fact that I'm just a sellout. And like I said earlier, a couple of days ago, I know the justice system is not fair towards black people. I know that when we go to court for a crime, that we usually get more time than somebody white for the same crime. I know that. So get what I do. I stick my ass from out of there. So I ain't gotta deal with that. Since I, since I decided not to break the law, the police ain't came and got me no more. That's funny how that works. Since I decided not to break the law, I ain't been to jail. That's puzzling, ain't it? It's really puzzling. How does that, how? I haven't broke the law, and I haven't been to jail. It's like they coincide with each other. Don't break the law, don't go to jail. Well, you know some innocent people that ain't guilty. Yeah. That ain't the, that ain't the majority. I ain't even close. Yes, there's some people locked up in prison right now that's innocent. That's a very small a percentage of people that's in prison. The majority of them in there tell you, I did it. I'm guilty. Anyway, y'all, I ain't, we're going to just keep on beating this drum, beating this dead horse. I'm going to see what I can do, man. I'm going to run for office. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run for office, run for president, and I'm going to make them stop locking up black people. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get with Congress, the Senate and everybody, and we're gonna pass some laws to make them stop locking up black people. Vote for me.